hang the uh, ONN 50 to 86 inch uh, wall mount for your TV. Um, we've got a 55 inch uh, TCL, so this will work because it's you know between 50 and 86 inch. Uh, when you open up the box, you know you got all this stuff in here. Uh, there was packaging on this. I just took all the packaging off. But you basically got three parts. Uh, wall hanger for the TV. Uh, so this is the top part. And it's got a little clip at the bottom part. See a little clip there? So go ahead and set those out. Get those ready to go. And then you have the actual wall mount itself. Uh, of which that's what you're going to put on the wall. It's got an arrow on it to point up. So you know which side is the upside. And then we'll do that. That's the second step. Uh, mine didn't come with instructions, no quick start guide. So yeah, kind of kind of goofy there. But then with that, you also get these bundles of different screws and bolts and everything else. So you're just going to take the bolts, find the bolts that you need for the TV. Just get those washers, those metal washers on there to start off with. All right, then you're going to take your hanger, and of course, this is the part that hooks onto the uh, the wall mount itself, so the top part of it. So this is going to be the top. Uh, there should be a marking on here that says up, but I don't see one. Yeah, I don't I don't see one. All right, so you're going to find your holes here, your screw your screw holes on the back of your TV. Uh, it's one, two, three, four. Uh, silver on the inside or silver colored on the inside, so you know pretty easy to find. You're just going to set those up here, line those up to uh, get those to where they sh should be, or at least where you want them, because you don't want it to hang down below underneath the TV, you want it to be up above the bottom. And then of course, go ahead and put your bolt through. I would suggest starting with the bottom one because it's all open and wide. So you can move it around once you get it on there. Uh, I'm going to put that little spacer in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down a little bit. Just so that the TV holds it for me. Okay. Now you kind of got to decide how you want it. Um, I'm going to want it kind of flush. So I'm going to pull that up quite a bit. And then I think we're in the second hole. No, we're going to be in the first hole. I'll put that plastic spacer on there. She's tight. Uh, actually, we're not tight on the bottom. A little, a little loose on the bottom. Okay, now there we go. And then again with the other one, uh, since we already know we're going in the, in the bottom hole on this, we can go ahead and put that in, and that'll hold it for us, so we can get the bottom one in. Oopsie, I need this. Plastic spacer in there. Oopsie. I didn't grab the right bit. Anyway, the back part of the mount is on the on the TV, so now we can put the actual wall mount itself on. Alrighty guys, now that you, you've got the brackets on the TV itself, on the back of the TV, um, you're going to want to get your stud finder out and find your studs. Now I've already done this, uh, I've got a stud center which should be here, and the center of this one should be here. Um, you're going to take your template, and you're going to line your template up uh, to kind of, you know, decide where you're going to be. And it's got nice marks on it. Uh, can kind of show you where it should be. 
Only thing is, my house is... Well, the studs are not in the right spot, according to this. So, this does me no good. Anyway, so I know about where my studs are. Uh, I've got the, the far ends of them marked, and so I know pretty much where center should be. I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, drill bit here, and I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill a hole into the center of the first stud. And that'll give me a good mark for lining up the uh, thing itself. Now it does say that to get a level out, but it, it, it has a level on it, so I really don't need a level. Turn it around so that the arrow is pointing up. And I don't know if this is going to be the top of it. This is going to be the top of it. Okay. So we're going to try to center that with our hole. Uh, no. And no. Let's try to see. So it's not going to fit directly between like the second, the second uh, hole in. It's going to be the second hole in and the third hole in. Uh, so we're going to be a little bit off here. Okay. Just line it up there. Try to get her level. And then try to hold her level. Oopsie. That's, that's the hardest part is holding her level. Of course, you can level it after the fact, too. But I already have a line marked over here for where I'm going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and start my free drill there. So you're, you're going to need a 13 mil or a half inch socket. Uh, one we're using was gifted to us by Bulwark. So shout out to them. Thank you. And you're going to take your bolts, uh, your lag bolts, which come in one of those plastic sleeves. And I'm gonna go ahead and preload it. Because this, I mean, it's not heavy, but it's not exactly light either. So we're gonna go ahead and line up for the first hole here. started in there just enough to get the rest of them in. Honey, can you hand me another bolt, please? Yeah. Thank you. Now, I have this set to a very low tension, so I don't destroy anything until I'm ready to, until I'm ready to put it in. So now that those two are in, now we just line these holes up on the bottom to a similar spot as the top ones. Uh, I can eyeball it, maybe you can't, I don't know. We're gonna check level again, make sure you are level, of which we are. So we're gonna start that, and then we're gonna come down here, line that up. It's all right, it'll fix itself. And get that one started as well. Go back to our half inch socket. Open the chuck up a little bit more. Those started as well. Now, with everything started, we can crank up the tension on this torque. Oopsie, I wasn't even on the bolt.
And of course, my battery's dead. So let me go get another battery. I'll be right back. Okay, now, as you can see, I'm pulling on a little bit. She's firmly attached to the wall. So one of the reasons I went with this mount was because I can pull this out away from the wall. You can angle it. And there's even some bolts you can loosen up right here to tilt it if you want to. That's why it's a little higher on the wall than what it currently is. Not a lot, just a little bit. But I mean, by the time I hang it on here, it's gonna be a lot higher. Uh, so I can tilt it down if I want to. I'm not sure that I'm going to want to, but it's nice to have the option just in case I did get a little, a little high, of which right here it is right around six foot, of which is, most people would say is way too high for a living room or dining yeah, living room. Yeah. But when I'm sitting in my chair or sitting on the couch, I, I don't like looking straight forward. I like looking up a little bit, and I find myself staring right in this area a lot when the TV is not on. Like this is like my natural area that I, I look. I mean, All right, guys, and with the uh, TV kind of sitting up there, just sitting on the, the rack, uh, it's not being held on, it's just gravity's holding it there. Um, you're gonna find your other two bolts that are in the uh, wall mounting hardware bag, okay? Not the TV mounting hardware bag, the wall mounting hardware bag. Uh, there's only four bolts in there, so I mean six bolts in there. So we use four to attach it to the wall, and then we got two left. So these little clips down here that I told you about earlier, pull that up. That which you're gonna have to hold it because gravity's gonna pull that down. You're gonna hold it up, put your bolt in through there, and then tighten her down. And that's gonna secure it to the uh, wall mount. And then just do the other one, uh, which I don't have enough room to get in here to do that. Anyway, okay, I'm going to turn it here. Oops, I dropped it. Ah. Okay, now that she's on there, I got another thing to do. This TV was sitting on our stand, so I gotta remove these legs. Alrighty, our legs are off of it. She's firmly attached to the wall mount. Uh, we can now move her around quite a bit. Uh, she's actually in the corner of the TV is now in the corner of the wall. Uh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't put these back on. These just go on to hide the screws. And it looks like, looks like they're interchangeable. So it doesn't matter which way they go. It doesn't matter if it's on the top or it's on the bottom. Uh, although I'm not sure entirely. There we go. You just snap on nice and easy. And then do the same with the bottom. All right, now she's got a nice clean look to her. She's firmly attached to the wall. And this is plaster, by the way. So I needed to get into the stud. Uh, going into the lathing, not gonna work very well. Half the wall would've came down, probably. I mean, there's cracks in the wall. Uh, not, you know, the wall is over 100 years old. So you, you do have to be a little careful. In drywall, you need to go in the stud as well. Uh, of course, masonry, you can put it in the masonry. Uh, same bolts, just with a masonry drill bit uh, to get it in there. And now, as you can see, whoopsie, oh, I, I had it a little too close to the wall. Uh, as you can see, though, she can stick out quite a bit of ways away from the wall. Or, since I pushed this all the way out, I'm going to have to spread this out a little bit to push it back in. But uh, she can slide up in right up against the wall. Let me straighten this up since I bumped it earlier. 
respirator. And then, of course, you know, you can pull it out a little bit, rotate it over. If I'm laying on the couch, perfect view for the couch right here. I, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, first, if I was in the other room, I guess I could, and then I could maybe see it from my computer. But for what I'm going to do, I'm going to ladder up to my chair. Bada bing, bada boom. She's up. She's ready to go. You just installed yourself a nice little wall mount to put your TV on. You got it up there secure. Time to sit back and enjoy. Watch a little bit of tube. Bye!